2013 KTM 500 EXC 6 Days Edition. This bike is uh, fantastic and I've done a few mods to it to personalize it, so let's just go through that. Uh, the tires are IRC TR8 tires. They're pretty good dual sport tires. I've just been riding a little bit in the mud and gravel, some sand, and they seem to do okay. The front tends to wash out a little more. They're not super aggressive. They are dual sport because I do ride on the road. I have to to get out to places like this, which is one of the reasons I bought this bike. You can plate it, obviously, it can make it road legal, and uh, it has more than enough horsepower in six gears to get out to places like this. So uh, yeah, let me just go through the things that uh, were done to the bike. So as I just mentioned, the tires, IRC TR8 rally tires. Uh, this has the 2016 headlight and front fender. So it's kind of an updated look. Uh, it's a little more horizontal. The stock tire uh, fender tends to kind of curl down towards the tire a little bit. Has a stock KTM handguards, has some aftermarket LED blinkers on the front and rear, has a key relocator, little bracket there. Uh, just puts it on the side. This, uh, you can take the key off, give you a key eliminator, but I choose to keep it on just because I do park on the street sometimes and. Uh, I don't want someone just starting it up and riding off. Um, it has some case guards. So on the, uh, this is on the clutch side and then on the stator side as well. I'll go around to that, show you. It's just some hard plastic, also on the water pump cover there. Uh, the brand is Enduro Hog. Uh, they fit up pretty good. Um, they do protect, the, the case seems pretty well. Uh, you could go with an aftermarket clutch cover, but they're a lot more expensive, and I just chose to use these. It also has a little bling aftermarket uh, oil filter or oil uh, oil cap, oil filler cap there. Uh, this bike did have an, a full Akrapovich exhaust on it when I bought it, and so it still has the header. Uh, it, it also has the stock uh, end can. I tried both. I think the end can on this, the stock end can, is maybe a little quieter and uh, it flows just as good, maybe a little less, but having a little back pressure is not a big deal. Plus with the Akrapovich, it does tend to decel pop just a little bit, not too much, but I like a quieter pipe. So that's the only mod uh, as far as performance, engine performance goes that's been done to this bike. Um, like I said before, it's a 2013. They came from the factory uncorked, so there was no emission stuff on this uh, and it has the Euro map on it. So it's running really clean. Um, I think it's around 60 horsepower. Uh, I do have a rear disc guard uh, to keep rocks and stuff from hitting your disc. So that's for protection. It also has the uh, swing arm uh, plastic guards on there, also just to protect it a little bit better. Uh, this is the sick ass tail tidy. Uh, it's just a piece of plastic that you mount up under there and. You can get your uh, license plate tucked in there real nice. Uh, also the LED blinkers on the rear. It has the, uh, I think this is the stock gearing. It's got a 14 tooth uh, counter sprocket, primary drive, uh, 14 tooth, and then 50 in the rear. That is the, uh, the KTM aluminum and steel dual sprocket. Um, so yeah, 1450 gearing. It's pretty good. Uh, I cruise at around 120, 110, 120 kilometers an hour on the road. So that's like 70, 75, something like that. Um, and that does good enough. I don't, I'm not on this bike to go super fast, right? On the road at least, or anywhere for that matter. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, as I mentioned, this also has the uh, case cover on this side, on the stator. Um, has a stop tank regular air, uh, air filter um, hand grips these are quite nice I think these are pro grip 800 I'll have to look them up and put a link in but I've had these on multiple bikes I really like the feel of these they're really uh, grippy surprisingly and uh, they don't chafe your hands as much with gloves on so um, plus they're a little bit thicker so I like these a lot I uh, have some aftermarket mirrors here. Um, they're pretty low profile, so 
that you don't have to fold stuff out of the way. I, I kind of prefer this over the uh, you know higher mirrors, so that's that. Uh, I do have a phone mount with the USB uh, charger there, so that's connected to the battery. This is just a cheap uh, tachometer and hour meter. I just like having that so I can see the RPMs of the engine. Um, if you, especially for idle, it's kind of hard to do it by ear if you don't know how much 1900 or 2000 RPMs that idle sounds like, which is what these bikes should be at. Uh, this also has a steering stabilizer. This is a, a Scott's knockoff. Uh, I bought it off of eBay from a man in England who was quite nice. I don't know if he still sells them, but if I can find a link for that, I'll put it up there. It's quite a bit cheaper, and it so far it works perfectly. It comes with all the with the uh, the, uh, the bracket that you put under the uh, triple here and everything. It works great. Um, I also had to get some risers that would fit with these are uh, X Trig, I think PHDS system. It's a damping system. Um, so as you can see, it has these dampers here. You can change the hardness of those. And it tends to take some of the vibration out of the bars, uh, so it's a little more comfortable. And so far, they work really good. Obviously, if you're cruising on the freeway for an hour, you're probably going to get a little bit of buzz, but uh, it, it does help with that quite a bit. Uh, this also has an, a Truby's front disc protector uh, that's on there. And it also has some different, uh, I think I got these from Taco Moto as well, these aftermarket uh, port guards. They don't wrap all the way around like the uh, original ones do, so when you need to service your fork or anything, they're a little easier to take off. Um, I think that's about it. So yeah, uh, this bike is fantastic. I really love these kinds of motorcycles. So let me just pause for a second here and talk about bikes I've had for uh, previously that qualify my opinion on this. I'm not a... Uh, ex experienced road or dirt rider rather I've been riding on road bikes for nearly 30 years um, had all kinds of different bikes but bikes that were somewhat similar to this were uh, DRZ 400 E and SM I've had both I love the DRZ I think it's a bulletproof bike it's really fun to ride very smooth uh, they're a little bit undersprung so you kind of have to mess with the suspension a little bit um, and the engine is a little underpowered. And the main problem with that bike is, as a dual sport, it only has five gears, the transmission. Um, and you can do a mod that will give you, pretty much make fifth gear really tall, but I just didn't want to spend the money um, and the bike is still underpowered. Even with a big bore kit, the FCR, bit better pipe, I did all that. And it's a really fun bike, but it doesn't really touch <laughs> the 500 in stock form. So like I said, I hadn't really done anything to this bike performance wise and it just rips out of the box. So the suspension, the brakes, the engine, uh, the, the bike itself <laughs> as a package is just way better. Uh, obviously they're more expensive, but you do get what you pay for in this case. I think that's definitely true. So um, I also have had a, a two different KTM 690 SMCs. Uh, one was an R. Uh, also really good bikes, but obviously they're supermoto, a big supermoto. Technically not a real supermoto where it's a dirt bike converted to uh, a road bike. But, you know, a big supermoto, let's just say that. Um, really fun, really fun to ride uh, in corners and twisties and stuff like that. The maintenance intervals are quite long so you don't have to service them nearly as much as a, a KTM EXC or is it, excuse me, the 500. Uh, but I decided to try something different so I sold both of those and ended up getting a 990 Adventure which I really enjoyed that bike too. Really good road bike, tons of power, very light off-road, uh, a pretty pretty close to a unicorn bike for me because of the fact that I have to drive so far to get to off-road but uh, I just tried decided to try something different so I decided to sell that and find, one of these popped up for sale and I picked it up really quickly and uh, it's just so much lighter it's about nearly half the weight uh, it doesn't have the same power but it's a it's pretty close to the same power to weight ratio I think uh, which is a big factor so this bike is fast 
uh, up to you know 100 kilometers an hour uh, which beyond that you know I'm not interested in going that much faster to be honest just for safety reasons I have a family and I'm still trying to enjoy riding and be, be somewhat responsible <laughs> more than I used to be so um, I think this is a good option for that uh, this bike is really fun um, just out of the box oh, I forgot there's two other things that I totally missed sorry Okay, so this also has a uh, seat concept, extra large comfort seat. And uh, this is not the tall version, this is the standard height version. And it's very comfortable. Um, I've been riding for three hours or so and I feel totally fine. So that's a really like, kind of a must have. And you'll see on most videos, people do seat mods. I think these seats are amazing. This, these, uh, this also has the uh, Rhino Walk um, side bags here. Uh, they're really good. This is the small version, so they're nine liters on either side, and they're really easy to mount. They just have two straps that go over the seat, two straps on each side that mount in the rear, and then two straps on either side that mount up to the frame. Uh, I forgot to mention this also has a rear rack, which is a it's a knockoff of uh, another company, and it just they just four holes you mount it, drill a hole through the uh, through the rear fender, and then I put another bag on top of that, but. Um, so everything's pretty secure. I've been going through dirt and mud and stuff all day and it's been totally fine. They're also waterproof, so uh, pretty good bags for the money. Very, very cheap. So back to, sorry, I'm skipping around a bit. Uh, back to why I got this bike. Uh, main reason again is just because I wanted something lighter and I didn't need that much power. Um, in this form as a dual sport it's still a pretty fun road bike but you can do uh, some supermoto stuff if you're interested you can obviously put a supermoto kit on here for relatively inexpensive um, or you could choose to use some more road bias tires i kind of like it how it is it's it's still these tires do a pretty good job on road um, and the brakes are good enough you're not going super fast anyway so uh, i really I really like this bike a lot it also comes with a kickstarter which I think the newer KTMs don't. I, I think in 2000, I want to say 17, they stopped putting a Kickstarter on it, which is kind of weird considering how people use these bikes. But uh, they're, I think in terms of people talking about reliability uh, with KTMs, it's, in my opinion, an issue of maintenance. So if you are decent with the wrench and you keep up on maintenance, any bike is going to be reliable. Uh, this bike doesn't have really any serious problems stock uh, but if you don't maintain it of course it's gonna break down on you right so you have to keep up with the maintenance intervals another issue is people talk about how often you have to change the oil on these um, the manual recommends I think 10 hour oil changes but that's under race conditions right so if you're kind of just doing dual sports stuff or riding at lower rpms and not stressing the motor too much you can definitely push that um, I think a lot of people who have these bikes change the oil around 15 to 20 hours and maybe uh you know a thousand or two thousand kilometers um depending again on how you ride and all that kind of stuff but oil is cheap it's only 1.5 liters and a filter it's a really easy change uh so you know i don't mind working on bikes i kind of enjoy it so for me that's not a big deal plus i'm not putting a ton of miles on this anyway so that's my quick review of this bike uh and some of the mods let me know what you think. If you have any comments, feedback, feel free to ask questions. I'll answer them if I can. Cheers.